Okay, the next one is don't interpret hyper literally. Okay, I said don't interpret figuratively, interpret always literally. But again, some people uh, go all the way into literal interpretation and interpret it hyper literally. Okay, so Psalm 91 4 says, He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. Now, if you're imagining all of that around the person of God and the image of God, God doesn't have feathers, God doesn't have wings. Uh, his faithfulness is not like a literal shield, a hyper literal shield or a rampart. Okay, so we need to understand uh, using our common sense how that these are literary devices that are being used. These are similes and comparisons, and we would do well to recognize that, right? So, so there's a distinction here between literal a reading of God's word versus a literary reading of God's word. There are literary tools that are used in certain parts of the Bible, depending on the genre, and we need 